Hello guys and welcome to Dennis playing on this new mod pack that I've been making which I've gone and called M Survival uh, which basically just means modded survival um, Oh look, a tree I'm Gonna get some wood Nice So I want to just check out the city that we spawned in here and, uh, oh, some texture difficulty, maybe? Oh, I'm not sure. Uh, let's just take a look around here, shall we? Um, there is some music in the background, uh, and I'm sorry about that. I did turn, I did turn the music off, but it didn't help. It would seem like it's going around here. Okay, some stairs going further down, which are blocked off. That is not cool. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure what's up with the doors, but they seem to be kind of glitched. Uh, maybe if I uninstall Malaysia's doors, it's going to be a bit better, but um, at the same time, I don't want to uninstall a mod. But maybe I will have to. We'll, we'll see what I'm gonna do about that. Um, anyway, this is my first time launching this mod pack. And uh, I just made it as well. So I haven't really configured anything. I haven't tried to make it work better. I haven't done anything with it. I've just put the mods in the same folder and just kind of went with it. And look at this. The world isn't generating as I was hoping it is. Um, but it is a completely new mod pack with mods I haven't tried before. Uh, for example, this Lost Cities is also new. Sorry. So we're going to take the render distance down a little bit, I think. Down to 6. Hopefully that'll help a lot. But uh, we'll see. Uh, so yeah, this um, mod pack that I'm kind of making is going to be uh, sort of a testing uh, mod pack where we're kind of testing of various uh, mods and how they are going to be working with each other. So that is kind of my plan with this mod pack to kind of just experience how the mods are going to be working together as a team. And uh, hopefully, it's gonna be a really cool mod pack. Uh, we do have a lot of different types of mods to play with. Um, let's see, is there a spawner here? I think there is. Let's just take all of this. Um, yeah, look at that. There's there's a spawner here. Bye bye. Uh, we got a few things though, so that's cool. Um, let's see what is up with this city. Uh, I don't really have a plan for this. Ooh, nice. And projectile protection, meh. I don't care for that. Um, ooh, there's a basement. I think I should draw. Oh, there's zombies down here. There's a spawner down here. Okay, bye bye. Bye bye. Come on, open, open. Please? Can you please open? Oh! Okay, don't open then. Fine. You neither. Uh. Uh. Doors won't open. Uh, I, I, I think I need to go ahead and remove Melissa's doors as it. Doesn't seem to be wanting to work. Uh, we'll be right back. Okay, we are back. And, uh, ooh, saplings. Yes, please. I am not gonna say no to all these saplings. Nice. Very nice. Alright, so, um, I think that we are going to be moving away from the city. And, uh, if we hit if we hit J, 
you can see how big it is. That's a big city. Wow. All right. Um, let's see. Let's get that one out of the way. And uh, let's move down this path, yeah? I think, yeah, uh, I think that's the right thing to do. So we're gonna go and get that one, and we're just gonna jump down, and hopefully we will find some good areas we can build on. Because uh, uh, I do want to build, I don't want to live in the city, uh, although there is spawners here, so we can make uh, some experience points, farms and whatnot. Uh, is that a new town? How regular are they? Because I was kind of hoping that it wasn't gonna be this uh, regular. Uh, I might make a new world if it's too regular and make make it a bit rarer. Um, I think we're gonna go ahead and do that. Uh, I'm gonna make a new world w where it's kind of rare to find a city, but it's still but it's still gonna be possible, if you know what I mean. Because I do want to find an area where we can build, so we'll be right back and we're gonna do that. Okay, we are back in a whole new world, and uh, it is looking a bit better. We have a city down here, um, and uh, our frame rate is a lot better now, uh, because we chose to have um, the city is a bit rare, rarest, I think we chose. So, uh, what is that? I wanna go and check that out. Is that a part of a town? Is, is it, is it a tunnel? Oh, that is so cool. Oh, I think it's a tunnel going through all the mountains here. Oh, that's really cool. Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get and gather some wood, find a location for us to live, and then we're gonna talk about what kind of mods we are playing with here. Okay, we are back and we found a village. So we got our first diamonds, um, and I just want to kind of raid the um, villages or the houses that's already here, like this. Uh, Actually, additions house. I want to take everything that I can find here. Uh, some canola. Let's go upstairs. Our frames are dropping. Let's take these guys, these guys. Come on. I said all of them and all of these guys. Oh, really? Okay, let's just do this then. Thank you. Now, if we try to take any of the machines here, they're just gonna break like they will disappear. So we are going to take these guys and um, these guys and then we're also going to be taking these crates because these guys they are amazing. They're like backpacks. So we're gonna take them, we're gonna check inside of here, we're gonna empty out this one too. Uh, let's see, there there we go. Uh, then we're going to be... Oh, I actually meant to swap swap you guys. Thank you. Uh, then we're going to just store all of these guys inside here until we need them. Right? And I think they're supposed to be like... Yeah. Like... That's pretty good. So let's also see... There's nothing to take up here. Uh, let's take three pieces of wool. Just because. Uh, I guess we are going to be needing it. And um, first thing to kind of um, be mentioned about this uh, mod pack is that we are playing in Minecraft 1.12. All these mods are working for 1.12 as far as I can tell. Um, and I also found this road that I kind of want to follow. So we're going to go ahead, go to it, and uh, follow it 
westwards. Because uh, I think it might have a few things for us uh, store, stored um, along the way, unless it just stops here. It doesn't. Good. Uh, then I'm going to be following this road for quite some time. And uh, again, we will be back. Okay, we are back. I think I found the area that I want to build in. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be looking a whole lot more. So, I think I want this island here. Uh, but before we can get that, we are going to need a little bit of something else. Uh, so, we're going to get a bed. Uh, I, did, I did it wrong. I'm sorry. I am so sorry. There and there. Now we got a bed. There we go. That's better. And um, let us talk about some of the mods that we got here. Uh, or just at least mention them. Uh, it's not going to be a official mod pack because uh, I don't have the rights to um, use these. Uh, I haven't asked for permission. It's just a private mod pack for my own, for myself. I haven't changed any configs. I haven't changed anything uh, at all. So uh, it's just it's just something for myself um, until I ask for permission from the mod authors. Uh, so I'm gonna get a little bit of this type of wood because I liked it. I think we're gonna use it in the house. Uh, so, one of the mods that we got, which is pretty obvious in the beginning of this episode, is we got Lost Cities. And uh, we also got um, Biomes of Plenty, which should also be obvious. We got a GIA, or J, uh, just enough items. Uh, I'm not, I'm not mentioning them in any specific order, I'm just mentioning them as I remember them. Uh, then we have um, Tinker's Construct, which is finally available for uh, Minecraft 1.12. I've been missing that mod. Uh, we have um, Tinker's I.O. Let's see, this one is kind of full. Let's see if we can't fit anything else in here. Nothing? Okay. Let's get out a second crate here. Um, to just store some other stuff. There we go. Yeah. And then we're going to be needing... We're gonna need a cave, we're gonna need to be mining as well. So why don't we go ahead and, uh, that's right, that's one full, let's use this one. Oh, I can't store crates inside crates. Okay, that's good to know. Um, let's see. Yeah, making a cave. We should probably get some food going as well. Uh, but first, I'm gonna get some iron so we can make a bucket and have the. Um, so we can have a um, farm going pretty close to us. Instead of having to run down to the water all the time and getting food there. Uh, that would just be tedious for me. So we're gonna do it this way. Um, so we're going to need this coal as well as cobblestone as well as iron uh, and I can't mind this copper that's uh, thermal thermal f f f f foundation thermal foundation is that mod oh here we got some iron that's perfect why can't mine iron with the well uh, of course not let's get a little bit of cobblestone going here. Um, so we can make a pickaxe and a furnace. We 
gotta use a little bit of vanilla in the beginning here. Uh, I'm not really sorry about that. Because uh, uh, it's, uh, it's required. Uh, I do kind of want it to be uh, in the beginning as vanilla as possible. Uh, but of course, we can't make... Okay. We can't make any sticks out of mangrove wood. That's good to know. Well, let's see. There. And gonna throw these guys in here. Gonna go back to mining a little bit here. There we go. Okay, that's a lot better. Oh, look at that, huh? Search faster. Search better. Oh. Okay, let's just mine out this. And get the rest of the iron right here. There we go. And I've got some on the side. That's pretty good. There we go. We got nine irons. I haven't been fixing anything on the world configs either. I, this is as a normal world as we can get with mods, of course, uh, with the last cities and biomes of plenty active at the same time. Uh, so we're gonna need three ingots. Then I'm going to be mining at or straightening out this hilltop right here, flatten it out, uh, and uh, making the um, the farm on top of here. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that and we will be right back. I will check out what other mods we have and I'm gonna talk a little bit about that as well. Okay, we'll be right back. Okay, we are back. And uh, I'm I have been fixing up a little bit of this farm here, so it's it's coming away. It's it, it's something. Uh, I think yeah, that's rice. I want some. I want me some rice. Come here. Ah, oh, nice, 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 nice. Okay. So I was thinking that we could talk a little bit about the mods that we have installed here, and uh, one of the mods. Is as you can see with the rice here, we got actually additions, and that's a great addition because <laughs> uh, that makes us being able to have, for example, a drill. Uh, we can make some um, power. Uh, actually, we're gonna get get some canola right now, so we can start having some power. Because I think that's a good idea to have that ready for when we're going to be using it. So what I'm thinking is we're gonna have canola going here, here, and he here. And then we can just do that, because I do want to have carrots and potatoes as well. So, um, yeah. Another thing, uh, another mod that we do have is uh, chisel and chisel and bits. And we also have uh, extra utilities, uh, which is going to be our main source of power later on, I think. Um, yeah, we don't have any big reactors or extreme reactors or escalium or what the, what the big reactor kind of mods are called. Uh, we don't have any of those. So I think that the best one of the generators we are going to be having is, later on of course, uh, the lava generator from Extra Utilities. And uh, the reason I'm thinking about that one is because we also have ranged pumps. So we are going to be able to pump out a whole lot of lava out of... Um, uh, out of the nether, so we're gonna have basically an infinite source for lava, which is gonna give us an infinite source of power. But before we're gonna do that, we're obviously going to be using canola as power. 
uh, we're actually gonna need to sort of leap. Um, let's see, um, what other mods do we have? Uh, and immersive engineering, that's something we got. Uh, I haven't been playing a whole lot with immersive engineering before, so it's going to be interesting to say the to say the least uh, as to how it's going to be working, what we're going to be doing with it. Um, I don't know a whole lot about that mod, but we're, we're going to figure it out. Uh, that's something I really do want to know, so we are going to know. Let's uh, just make sure we are getting all the things over here. That's good. What type of flowering oak sapling? Okay. That's a beautiful kind of tree, I think. Like the ones we have right there. I think it's a good tree. The leaves are beautiful. Or pretty, at least. So let's see, what can we throw into where? Okay, that's good. Uh, I think we're going to be mining for the rest of the episode um, while we are talking about the other kind of mods that we do have. Uh, which I should probably check out. Because uh, I'm kind of tired and um, I just want to make sure that I'm not saying anything wrong. Uh, so we have iron chests. Uh, I did notice bibliocraft, which is going to give us a little bit of different type of um, decoration we can have. So that's pretty good. Uh, in between episodes, I think I'm going to be building a Tinker's Construct um, smeltery. Yeah, we're gonna have uh, the smeltery up and going um, before the next episode. Um, and I do kind of actually need to go into domains and record a little bit there because I haven't done that in a little while now. I had kind of a little break because of uh, family. So, uh, that's why I haven't been uh, posting so much lately. Um, but usually I do want to try to have one episode a day. Uh, maybe two if I feel uh, up for it. But mostly I'm gonna try to have one episode a day. Yeah. Um, then I also think we have... Let's take a quick look here. Um, RF Tools is a mod that we have. We also have, um, oh, I'm so tired. I completely forgot already what I do have. Uh, I just looked at the list. Uh, we have FTB Utilities and um, Lib, I think. We also have um, we have we have quite a few mods actually. Um, I just cannot, for the life of me, remember anything for a long time right now. My, oh, I'm so sorry. Um, storage drawers. That's what we have that I can rem remember. And Tinker I.O. And I think that's the whole list. Yeah, seems like it. Well, uh, also Ender Storage, that's a mod that we also have. Uh, so I don't have any tweaks or anything like that uh, because I didn't want them. Um, not, not, not right now, anyway. So what we're going to do here is we are going to be making a chest so we can really store stuff. And we're gonna have a double chest because why not? Now we don't really need J in 1.12 because we do have uh, this um, asphalt concrete works. Motorboat? Really? Motorboat? Uh, but we do have um, 
the um, list here in vanilla uh, in which uh, where you kind of make something you get the whole um, you get the recipes for stuff and so I don't really think that we need Jay but it's good to have because uh, it doesn't really cover absolutely everything yet at least and I don't know if it's going to but that's something we are going to be figuring out together um, yeah so we are going to be storing these guys in here like so then we're gonna get some wood and stone out and we're gonna continue to mine and I think that's it for this episode um, I'm going to be continuing to mining it a bit. I'm going to uh, try to get a hold of a lot more iron so we can start getting our um, smelter up and going and then maybe we will have it up by the next episode. Maybe we will build it together in the next episode. We'll, we'll see how I'm gonna fix that. But. Um, I will at least see you guys in the next one. I hope you enjoyed this episode and that you're gonna come back for the next one. And uh, if you did enjoy, don't forget to hit that like yeah, button. If you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. Okay. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.